Jason, come on. On the couch. The come casting on. couch. Come on. <laughs> come join us. One of us. One of us. I have to sit in a certain way. One of us. One of us. Oh, you don't yeah, have to yeah, sit yeah. a certain way. You just have to chant with us. Sit down with us. Okay. Be one of us. Wait, am my just like... This is uncomfortable. Yeah, you can be... Am I in frame here? Oh my god. Most probably. So we're gonna talk about a movie. Yeah, we just saw Batman vs. Superman, Don oh, Justice. Justice. This is going to have spoilers. Oh, yeah, spoilers. That, isn't that what YouTubers do? Yeah, we're gonna have yeah. a crazy sound that says spoilers, and, like, it's just gonna, like... Should we do the first few like, minutes? Burp, 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 burp. Spoilers. Should we do the first few minutes without spoilers, and then go into spoilers later? Uh, we have about ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, so the first five minutes, no spoilers. First. Okay, less than ten minutes. So okay, let's yeah. Do this. So let's all talk about it. Like, what were you guys expecting from the movie? So, I saw the reviews on Rotten Tomato before I watched the movie, so I honestly came in with the mindset of, I'm going to kind of nitpick and understand why this was bad, more than, more so than, like, actually coming in with a blank mind. I tried to, but, like, there were some parts where I was just like, oh, I see why they gave it, like, I, I see why they said this was bad, now I kind of see why this movie is bad, but mm -hmm. honestly, um, even before the Rotten Tomato reviews, I kind of thought, you know, this is a competition between Marvel, and that, like, this is DC's way of trying to throw in the ultimate ultimate universe type of thing, and that if they did this first, maybe I would have thought, you know, the Marvel universe as, like, oh, they're trying to copy DC, so what I'm trying to say is that I thought this is DC trying to, like, jump onto the whole, like, multi-superheroes in one movie. Just trying to catch up. Yeah, 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 that type of thing. That's what yeah, I thought. Sure, trying to catch up. Which is essentially what it kind of was. Because they had 75 years and multiple opportunities when they have live-action Batmans and Supermans throughout the 75 years. From the serials in the 1940s to, like, the movie and the TV shows, I mean, in the 50s where it's um, George Reeves. And then in the 60s they had Adam West. But George Reeves died before, died before um, Adam West's TV show happened. But anyways, and then they had the movies later on with Christopher Reeves and Michael Keaton. Then they had the most recent movies. And in none of those did they ever think, hey, what if we put them together? No, it was just kind of like, up until the point where the Avengers came out, that made like a billion dollars. They were like, you know what would be kind of good is if we kind of, you know, maybe made them fight. That'd be kind of interesting, right? And anyways, but, um, yeah, no, okay, so here's the thing. I think, I think it might be a little first to say that out of everyone in our friend group, I think I was the most excited to see this movie. Is that it's cool to say? He's the yeah, comic it's book cool. nerd. Oh, uh, I love comic book movie, uh, comic book and comic book I just, oh, so, I remember from the very beginning, you know, Comic-Con, like, three years ago when they first announced it. It was like, you know, oh, like, you know, I hope, I'm glad you guys all like Man of Steel where it's going to have a sequel and then we're going to have Harry Lennox come out and he's going to say the quote from The Dark Knight and only one guy knew the quote and then they put up this logo and everyone was like, oh, it's Batman vs. Superman. Just, oh. <laughs> then they got the first trailer the year after that and then, oh, just hype, hype, hype. And then it came out and then, oh, I loved it, but I hated it. But I loved it. But it's so good. But the plot only came in like a third of the way through the movie when, once again, spoilers, he's like, oh, I have your mom. And then he's like, oh, no. Because everything before that really doesn't matter too much because they never really reference, you know, the um, bomb going off, you know, in um, DC. They never mentioned that at all. It had no consequence, really. Yeah. Well, I, and like, they, no one was like, you know, like, boo, Superman. You know, it didn't play a factor into it because in the end, everyone just loves Superman at the end. Like, is oh, that really? <laughs> like, everyone's just like, oh, he's dead. We're, we're such horrible persons. And they had, like, two writers. Because I was telling you guys earlier, they had the writer of David S. Goyer come in. He wrote it, and I was like, okay, this is going to be the movie. Then he made some comments about um, She-Hulk and how... Because what he said was, She-Hulk was only made to have sex with the Hulk. Which is very weird if you know comic books, because she She-Hulk is Hulk's cousin. So it's like... Wait, I don't think David S. Goyer reads comic books. <laughs> like, or he doesn't, but he writes all the comic book movies. So then Ben Affleck got cast, and then they brought in Chris Terrio, who's his friend, who's a writer, and he rewrote all of the script. So it really feels like that kind of happened. Because a lot of the points in the movies are really good, and then it goes really bad, and then it's really good. And the editing is just... Ugh. <laughs> Super sad scene, and just hopeful, and, you know, angry. It just, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Well, it's coarse and rough. Oh, well, the transitioning between like, like the happy scenes and the angry scenes and the sad scenes very rapidly. That could have been deliberate, I suppose, but I don't think it was. <laughs> what could have been interesting is if they chose to do that. You know, because Batman versus Superman, they could have done happy against sad, mm -hmm. and they could have had 
bright, vibrant colors against dark, um, you know, secret town kind of towns and stuff like that. They didn't do that. They Superman, weren't. Did they explain, like, why Lex Luthor did all of this? Like, the whole, like, thing in the desert. So, oh, spoilers! 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 spoilers. spoilers. Yeah. spoilers. Because like, um, of his daddy's wrath did, like, did, did he say that in the movie that he got beat as a child? That, that was all he addressed in it was. He said, um, God can save me from my father's fist or something like that. And that was just easily brushed <laughs> over and that I'm, was it. I'm, I'm crazy just an Eisenberg. <laughs> We're filming it on Aaron's phone and that's Aaron and that's why he gets up sometimes. Just yeah. To make, sure so okay. make sure the camera's still on. They really did a great job, I think, personally with developing, well not great, but a good job on developing Batman's motive as a character, why he does this and so on and so forth, you know. People that he worked with, people he cared about at his work, got killed. He blames Superman. He's too powerful. It's very clear and stuff like that. Then he feels weak and powerless against him. Your guys' opinions? Do I get... Prior to seeing this movie, um, I saw the, the score on Rotten Tomatoes, and I was like, oh, God. Uh, so, <laughs> um, you know, I watched some spoiler-free reviews on YouTube to kind of see the consensus about the film um but uh in the end i um i decided i'm gonna see this movie regardless because i want to um really discover for myself just how terrible or how, <laughs> or how good of a movie this is and um i can say because i was um pretty excited for this movie, like three years excited. Um, uh, I forgot what I was going to say next. Like I said, I was um, pretty excited for this movie, so uh, I still wanted to see it, um, but I think I kind of set a, a high standard for it, so um, when I left the theater, you know, I was I was pretty uh, bummed out about it. <laughs> like, could have been a lot better. Yeah. 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 Uh. So we all so but on the record, we all agreed that this could have been way better than it should have been. Um. We're speaking directly to you. Oh, yeah, yeah you, producers. <laughs> you Twenty viewers, but um. Twenty nine. Yeah, we have twenty nine <laughs> yeah, subscribers. subscribers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But um. Yeah. So, I'm not the biggest comic aficionado. I learned of this movie's existence about two weeks ago. Really? <laughs> um, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Earlier today, I was informed that it was bad. <laughs> and I was not disappointed. <laughs> it was bad. Um, there, there was like ten minutes of... Batman versus Superman, and then just a whole bunch of other random stuff tossed in there <laughs> that had nothing to do with it. <laughs> it was just all over the place. Um, spoiler, um, in the first, you know, five minutes when you see young Bruce Wayne coming up, you know, levitating with a bunch of bats, I was just so confused. I was like, is this going to be the new origin of Batman? He's going to be He has bat powers. <laughs> yes, he has bat powers. I was so confused. Yeah, so that wasn't it. that bad for like, like in the whole grand scope of the movie because it was I like, mean, like two seconds later I mean, like, it was like it was five minutes, a five, ten minutes into a movie makes a big impression on a viewer. I don't know. I really liked the intro though. The I, I liked it, but again, it was confusing. But in the end, but it's comic book movies, so like anything can happen. Anything is weird depending on what you define as weird. But like, um, I enjoyed it. Uh, I Wonder Woman Wonder was pretty hot, Ooh. but uh, on, but no, even going into her character, but like not just you know physical feeling. Um, it was interesting. Her character was hot. <laughs> that backstory though. Was yes, that, yes. That, that was her. That was yes, her. all five scenes where she talks. Yes. Yeah, yeah, like, uh, that yeah, female like, scene though. Yeah, like that, that's, that's so hot. The way she right? sits, where she was like, where she was like, she was the girl following Bruce Wayne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah like. It was interesting. <laughs> um, if they did the Wonder Woman movie before they did this movie, maybe it could have been better-ish, like made more sense-ish, but I don't know. 
again, that's just me kind of piggybacking off a standard that's been set in the movie world, kind of. So, but again, I'm just some amateur viewer, so don't, like, try to, don't go onto my YouTube page and, like, write hate comments because mm -hmm. of what I'm saying. Well, actually, um, if, if there's, like, lots of comments, even if they're negative, then the, I think the YouTube algorithms rate the video higher on searches. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so, so, so start hate. a flame war. A few moments later. Excuse me, yeah. You asked it, was Hitler a good person? Would tell you yes, like because of like what it's interacted with human beings. Four <laughs> chan people, uh, particularly that that of the four chan. Four chan is like Batman versus Superman. It's so good, but it's so bad. But anyway, so but anyway, back anyway, to the point. Yeah, let's, wrapping let's this wrap up. it up. Oh, um, let's yeah. all go on in order and say real fast what we thought about it real quick. Overall, it was a decent movie. Definitely. My, I might watch it one more time because my family, but it's, this is definitely not a thing I would watch maybe twice again. Um, if I was to rate it 7 or 8 out of 10, just all over the place, but in generally a good movie. For those who don't know me, I'm Quentin, by the way. Yeah, this is Hi, Quentin. Quentin. Yeah, um, he takes cool, cool pictures. Hi, Quentin. Yeah, if you follow us on Instagram, he takes the cool pictures. Yeah, I'll, I'll send an Instagram link somewhere here. Anyway, Jimmy. Um... Thought it was really good, but really bad, as I said. And here's my thing with it, is that we're only ever going to get one first time Batman met Superman. And I just wish it was done with a better director. Because the story is pretty good-ish, not really, but a little bit. But um, I'm just afraid for Justice League right now, because there's only going to be one time they get the Justice League together. And I'm just hoping that... They, I don't know, maybe Zack Snyder gets better at directing, or just, I don't know. <laughs> That's impossible. <laughs> no, because no. Yeah, he definitely has not proof of Man of Steel with this movie, I think. Yeah, they're just like, um, character just, like, just didn't make sense sometimes. Like, why Batman and Superman just became friends was only because of, um, their mom sharing the same name, really. Because he had all these really bad things to say about Batman. He was like, he's a criminal, violent, he's a vigilante, he, um, bat is, the bat is dead. And then right when, um, Lex took his mom, then he went to, um, Batman was like, Bruce, we know work together. See, it's stuff like that just doesn't really add up for me. I have failed you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I failed you in life, but I won't fail you in death. And just, like, they became best friends for I no feel. reason. After, like, one fight and, like, two meetings before that. It only lasts, like, five seconds. So, overall, I would say it's a, yeah, I guess a seven. It's, like, a ten and one together because it's really good but really bad. So, an eleven, I guess. But would I recommend it? Yeah, if you had the time. Would you rewatch it? If I had to watch it on my own accord again? Maybe if I was pretty bored. But, um, yeah, if you have the time, if you have um, money and you just want to see a good movie, um, yeah, I'd definitely say check it out. It's the first time Batman's fighting Superman. It's pretty cool. Even though we spoiled some scenes for you. Right. Sorry about that. But, um... That's you were warned. Anyway, Joshin. Yeah, Joshin. Yes, Joshin. Um, what I liked about it, the performances generally, um, Jesse Eisenberg's performances... Lex Luthor kind of weirded me out. Good thing or bad thing? Uh, bad. Okay. Um. Uh, you like him? I don't know. It was just a little like I don't know, twitchy, weird. I get that, man. There are definitely like pockets of like goodness out of it. In my opinion, DC is trying to catch up with Marvel, and so they try to stuff in all of these plot points. Like, honestly, I see a lot of like good. Uh, individual movie ideas in this one movie. There's, there could be a really good Superman sequel, a uh, really good Batman standalone movie, Dawn of Justice prequel. But like I said, um, since DC is trying to catch up with Marvel, I th they try to just like shoehorn and stuff all of this, all of these plot points into this one movie. And I think. Um, it didn't work out that well. Honestly, I'm I'm still trying to uh, digest this movie. I, I just saw it like a couple of hours ago. Um, right now, I give it like a 7 out of 10. If you've been excited for this movie for a long time, like the properties, I think you should see it. Um, me, I think I would see it... Um, at least one more time to just try and um, make a better, more concrete um, opinion of the movie. As for you, I don't know if you if you see it. I don't know if you'd want to see it one more time. But like I said, I think you should see it just for the heck of it because it's Batman versus Superman. Um. So if you're looking for action sequences, <laughs> yes, 
Lots of yes. Um, if you're looking for good storyline, <laughs> no. Um, overall, I would say if you haven't seen it, you should probably go see it. Um, I would say that overall it's probably not the best movie. It's actually kind of bad, but still, see it. And subscribe. Yes, and subscribe. It's very yeah. good. So, yeah. yeah, you'll yeah. see pretty alright movies, just like Batman vs. Superman. Yeah. But they're short. I think I found a good way... Oh, are you done? Or you yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. done. What would you rate it? What would you rate it? Um, 1 to 10, it would be like 6. Yeah, that makes sense. 6. Passing. I found a... I thought of a good um thing to call it. To me, this is the best disappointment I think I've seen. Oh, it was a disappointment, yes. but it was a really good I like good that description. Yeah. yeah. It was like Iron Man 2, except done really well. So it was a lot a lot of setup, like Iron Man 2, but it was a lot better than Iron Man 2. So yeah, the best disappointment. Batman versus Superman. Check it out and subscribe, please. Um, <laughs> what yeah. score would you give it out of 10? Yeah, yeah, question to you viewers who have watched it. What would you give it? And to those who don't, what's your expectations of it? Post all of that in the comments. Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah.